What's up, everybody? Old man boxing. Well, I'm in weird weather, northeast Kentucky, where just a couple days ago, freezing single digits. And now it's uh, almost 50 degrees. Yeah, that's some weird stuff, man. But I guess that's what happens when you're in between the north and the south. You get a little bit of both worlds, except when it gets to the middle of it, like when it gets in between seasons, you don't know what the hell you're gonna get, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but yo, Marcos Maidana, man, man, you need to chill. Hold on. Marco, let, let, let me go ahead and start off like this. Look, I'm glad, you, I'm, I'm, I'm happy that everybody subscribed to the channel. If you're not subscribed, please do subscribe and hit the like button. Also, hit the bell icon for future for um, future videos. I still have a problem saying that. <laughs> but anyway, um, Marco's Maidana is, I mean, this is um, what they're saying, that he's um, looking at making a return. They said... He recently had watched Manny Pacquiao fight and um, Keith Thurman fight, and he feel he could beat both of them. Well, I'm gonna tell you right now, with the size that he is, he probably will beat both of them fairly easily. I mean, my man is golly. But as they were saying, the man turned around, got two big paydays, and was home happy and fat. But here's something that it never, it never ceases to amaze me with boxers, or boxers who call themselves retiring. They always want to get back in that ring and fight because they be looking at somebody and they, they, they think, yo, I know I could beat this guy, man. Look at him. He's doing this. He's doing that. He's doing it. Look, he's doing this wrong. He's doing that wrong. I could beat him. I could beat him. Until you get in the ring with him. And, and, and I'm going to tell you what's up with that. Marcos Maidana haven't been in the ring since 2014, y'all. That's like five years. Look what happens after a, a, a good example. See, Keith Thurman. He was busy watching Keith Thurman after a damn near two-year stint and figured he could beat him. Okay, you saw a lot of flaws. Marcos Maidana saw a lot of flaws with a Keith Thurman who was out of the ring for two years. Yo, you been out, Marcos Maidana, you been out of the ring for five. Can you imagine what you're going to be like? If you thought Keith Thurman was easy work seeing him after two years, what are you going to look like after five? Let's be for real, y'all. And he got to lose all that weight. Yo, Marcos Maidana looked like he every bit of 180 pounds, yo. Dude look huge, man. I mean, yo. <laughs> and you talking about getting back in the ring to, to, to do what? Yo, man, you got a long way to go. Listen, you might as well. I mean, some people say it's like riding a bike. Not when you're getting punched in the face. Sorry, y'all. Look, me, I had left this kind of business for a while and started, and started doing my own thing with trucking. You know what I'm saying? And I did that for 12 years. I turned around and came back to this business here after all of that time, you know, just for the hell of it. And yo, I could bruise easily, bro. I'm like, God damn, bro. You know, you, yo, you bruise easily. I mean, not no more because my body done got back used to it. But yo, you talking about stuff that was hurting that I forgot that can hurt? <laughs> Muscles, I even forgot that existed in my body. You know what I'm saying? Because I came back in here and I started. So, yo, we talking two different animals right there. We're talking me using my hands. You know what I'm saying? My crusty hands and contorting my body and moving my body in certain ways I haven't been moved in a long time. And I was in pain. Imagine getting punched in the face after five years. After after five years, 
It ain't gonna feel like it ain't gonna feel the same. It's, and then you got older, dude. It's gonna hurt that much worse. You know, and I'm not trying to discourage you. I just never known anybody to come back after five years to do anything significant. One year, two years, yeah. Five, hell, nah, never, ever. Nah, man. Now, I, you know what, my bad, I'm sorry, y'all, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, George Foreman did it, he did it way after five years, but, we talked with George Foreman, ain't no ordinary dude, man, I'm sorry, y'all, that's a big old, that's a big dude, I mean, yo, hold on, when you looked at George Foreman, what was he doing to prepare for some of them fights? My man was pulling cars and eating hamburgers, who's normal doing that, man? <laughs> So I ain't gonna put Michael's uh, Marcos Maidana in that in, in that category. Nah, man. He ain't no George Foreman. We don't know what he built like. Now I know. I believe he's. I forget. I believe he's from Argentina. I think so. Yeah. I think Marcos. Is. If that's the case, and a lot of them South American uh, South American places, Mexico, all of them. Man, they be using hormones in their food, y'all. So maybe he might have some validity. I don't know. Doubt it. But you know, I'm just saying, man. Marcos Maidana, you, you, you yo. <laughs> I don't know, y'all. I don't know. You can tell the man ain't been training enough. It you don't get that fat if you was training. Then he got to get his body back into it. Then he has to get punched in the face. And, and we ain't talking about just sparring. This that sparring is different, man. Even if you ain't got the headgear on and, and the body protection still different when you get in that ring with somebody like a Pacquiao or a Keith Thurman they ain't sparring punching they trying to knock the anyway old man boxer signing out peace I just wanted to hip y'all to that a little bit